Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Today we're working on lesson number 10 in module number 3. And I should say here that my own class is not going to be doing uh, lesson 10, but I'm going ahead and uh, recording this video in case other classes, or my class in the future, needs lesson 10. So uh, let's go ahead and get started, and let's take a look at one of the problems. We're in this unit, we're, or in this lesson, we're solving multiple digit, meaning three and four digit numbers times one digit numbers and we're using the standard algorithm rather than the place values that we were using previously. So let's take a look at number one, and I'm going to do number H, which I think is the most difficult of these. Um, I'm going to take a look at this one. We have four times 8,192. We're going to set that up in the regular vertical method, so that's 8,192 times four. And we're going to get right at it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look to multiply the 4 times the 1s. So two, 4 times 2 1s is 8 1s. So that's 8. And the next thing we're going to do is multiply 4 times the 9 10s. And that is going to mean 36 10s. 36 10s. We will write the 6 10s here and the 30 10s. We're going to write up here. Now I should add that... Um, the, that in the Eureka math, they they're at this stage, they often write the extra uh, numbers, the numbers that we are uh, sort of bundling together and putting in the next place value, they write them here on the line. Um, in my class, we're not doing it that way, so uh, there's a little bit of a divergence from what the the lesson says. So on the next uh, on the next piece, we're going to be multiplying four times the one hundred. Well, four times one hundred is simple. That's just four hundred. But remember, we've got to add in the three more hundred that we have there. So 4 times 1 is 400, plus 3 is 700. And then finally, we are going to multiply 4 times 8,000. And that is 32,000. So the 2 goes in the thousands place, and the 3 goes in the ten thousands place. And we have our answer, which is 32,768. Simple enough. Let's take a look at uh, the next problem. Next problem is a word problem, and in our class we use a read, draw, and write strategy. So I'm going to put that as a little reminder for myself here over on the side that we're going to do read, draw, and write. Let's take a look. Tammy buys a 4 gigabyte memory card for her camera. Dejanea buys a memory card with twice as much storage as Tammy's. 1 gigabyte is 1,024 megabytes. How many megabytes of storage does Dejanea, Dejanea have in her memory card? Okay, well, we might need to reread this if we wanted to, but let's go ahead and take a shot at it. And first, I want to do a drawing. So let's see, what kind of a drawing can I make of this? Well, let's see. First of all, I know about Tammy. So Tammy has a single 4 gig memory card. And then Dijonea, D I G J O N E A, has one has a memory card. Let's go see that a memory card with twice as much storage as Tammy's. Oh, twice as much storage. So I'm going to need to say that she has not just four, but eight, twice as many. And that's going to be my drawing. And then what are what is our question? Our question. Let's go back. How many megabytes of storage does Dijonea have in her memory card? And we're told that a gigabyte is this many megabytes, or how many megabytes of storage? So let's see. So first things first. I'm going to figure this out. This is 8 gigabytes, right? We can say pretty clearly that if Tammy had 4 gigabytes and Dijonea had something that was twice as big, that would be 8 gigabytes. So that's, at least that part is fairly straightforward. And now if each gigabyte is 1,024 megabytes, we're going to need to multiply 1,024 times 8 to get our answer. Now we've got straightforward multiplication, so let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to have 8 times the 4 ones is going to be 32 ones. So 3, I'm sorry, apologize, I'm going to have to erase that. 32 ones. Everybody makes mistakes. 32 ones. The 2 goes in the ones place and the 3 goes in the tens place. That's 32. Let's take a look at the next multiplication part that we're going to do. That's 8 times 2 tens. 8 times 2 tens is 16 tens, plus the 3 more tens, it looks like it's going to be 19 tens. That's 19 tens. The 9 tens goes there, and the 10 tens goes up there. Next item up, 8 times 0, 100. Well, that's easy, that's 0, but then we have the 1 more from before that we have to add in, so that's 100. And then finally, 8 
times 1,000 is simply 8. So that would be 8,192, and we are not yet done, because our last part of our strategy is that we need to write our answer, and our answer is not simply a number. Uh, our answer is that Dijonea, oops, switch to my stylus, Dijonea has... 8,192 megabytes of storage. And that is the right part of our read, draw, and write strategy. Thanks again for joining me for this episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. Hope to see you again next time. Thanks.